The new balloon levels at Town Hall 16 are incredibly strong. Let's take a look at some attacks. All right, what's Klaus gonna do here? He does have a Skelly Donut locked and loaded. He's got the bat, got the Skelly, got the four invis. See here shortly what he is gonna go for. In the meantime, he's gonna set up for the Flame Flinger on the left side. While that goes, let's take a peek here. Regular stuff for the King, normal Queen ability, normal Warden ability, and no upgrades on the RC. Headhunters for that enemy King gets him taken down. No, that was the RC. Not the King. King's still at 12. Flame Flinger should be able to get through the Ricochet Cannon and the Scatter Shot. In the meantime, here we go with the Bat Lalo Donut trying to get the Clan Castle down into this multi Inferno Tower. He's got one more invis after that one. The multi does go down, and the Skellies get through the Clan Castle. And the Bat Donut still doing what it does best here at Town Hall 16. Got the CC out of the way. The King pushing in from the top side with the Apprentice Warden. Got a couple of Sneakies on the right side trying to get that storage down. All right. So it looks like he's going to push the heroes in, or at least the King, for that Town Hall compartment. Dragon Rider in the meantime for the Mortar on the top side. A couple of balloons. Looks like he's just going to start this Lalo from the right side of the base. Couple of headhunters for the enemy Queen. She should go down fairly quickly. Pops Warden's ability. Here we go. Lalo pushing in. King moving to the Town Hall. It's just going to be King for the Town Hall. He can solo it with his ability. Flame Flinger on the left side opens up. We got Dragon Rider over there. A couple of Rocket Loons as well. Balloons pushing through this bottom corner. Slowly but surely. He does have one haste left. He's got the queen at the bottom side. Which she does have to deal with that monolith. Freeze on the multi inferno. There's the haste. Push him into the multi. Get it taken down. And then they can work on this eagle artillery. There we go. There's the multi. Eagle going to be going down shortly. Invis for the queen to take out the monolith. She has popped her ability already. And we got the royal champion on the left side. And this is looking solid here for Klaus. Getting through the Rage Tower. He's got to get through the Expo. And he's going to be good to go. That King gets through the entire Town Hall compartment. And still has the Phoenix. The King is crazy. And that's a triple. Klaus is crazy. Trying to keep an eye on everything. I'm not exactly sure what he wants to go for. He's going to start with the Flame Flinger on the bottom. There's the Zap Quake. Okay. He goes for the Expo and wakes up the Town Hall. So the Flame Flinger can make its way in for that. We'll let this flame flinger work. Send a couple of hog riders. Check for any traps here. We got the king on the right side of the base. He's got the gauntlet and the rage. Uh, queen's regular stuff. Warden's regular stuff. RC is not upgraded. There we go. King and queen will push that right side. He's got a headhunter in for the enemy RC. Ice golem coming in. King popping ability. Getting big. And that queen's going to skip that compartment that the king is clearing out. We got the CC troops coming out. Hit that rage spell for a moment, but no big deal here. Get rid of the headhunter. Now the queen can deal with that lava hound for a moment. Oh, the king targeted the uh, flame flinger. He spotted it before I did. Good job to the spotters. Headhunter down there in a freeze. And the king is not able to get damage onto the flame flinger. Very nice. Do have the poison down for the lava pups on the top side. King's gone down to Phoenix. Queen continuing to push her way into the base. Looks like he's trying to break her in for that multi. He's out of wall breaks, though. So she... Actually, no. She can reach the multi from there. What am I saying? <laughs> it's only, like, one or two tiles there. So he's good. In the meantime, we do have that Lalo pushing in from the left side. Pushing the Flame Flinger back towards the Town Hall. All right. Pops Warden's ability. Balloons making their way through. Queen's ability going off as well. She'll get through the Ricochet Cannon. And there's not a lot left on that left side. He just needs to get through the Multi and the Eagle. Drops in the Freeze. That Sweeper's going to be a bit of a pain. Pushing the Balloons back. He still has another Freeze and a Haste. Should probably Freeze the Multi again or no. He's going to Haste. But the Multi's taking down these Balloons. He chose not to Freeze it. He might need it for the Town Hall though. I think that's why he held on to it. Got some more balloons from the very top side of the base. The RC is coming in with the Fox. Flame Flinger doesn't get the Town Hall, but he's got troops coming out of the Flinger to take it out. And there we go. They do finish it off. That Dragon Rider going to get some damage onto the single before it goes down. Single will stay up. Oh, the RC's ability helps take it down. Nicely done. And Stars getting it done again with the Lalo. He's got Pups and Minions on cleanup. Just needs to get down here to these storages. 
They are full health, but he's got 30 seconds left to go. So time shouldn't be a factor here. A couple of red air bombs, tornado, slowing things down. But he's got pups on the rise. What the heck? The queen's still alive? I don't know how the queen didn't go down, but she's coming in to help with cleanup as well. GG. Down goes the storage and another triple in position here. And he's got 35 balloons to get it done. A couple of ice hounds. Interesting. Alright, a couple of early balloons off to the right. Is he going to blimp? Yes, he is. Looks like it's going to be a Yeti bomb. No, he's got a clone and some invis. I'm going to go for a minion bomb here. Hits the tornado. He only has a couple of invis. We'll see if he can get everything he's looking for. He does get the multi, gets the scatter. I guess pretty much everything he's wanting. He might be able to get the enemy queen. Uh... Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, they do. Wow. They did a lot of damage to that queen under that rage. It only took him like four shots to get the queen down. Pretty good value. Especially considering he didn't need the warden to do it. Now he's going to do a bit of a hero dive into the town hall area. In from the left, the Valkyrie as well. Alright. Two minutes on the clock. That was nice sending that one balloon to get the uh, spell tower off that left side. Now we're going to get a CC pull as well. Super minions and archers. I don't know if that was a full pull. Nope, rocket balloons. Nice poison though. It's going to catch most of that there. That king's clearing out that whole town hall compartment as well. The queen's staying safe, staying out of the poison. Here comes the royal champion. Here comes some balloons. we got a minute and a half on the clock. It's going to have to be a minute and a half Lalo. He's actually using the rage gem with the Lalo. Which is interesting. See how well this works out. We do have the freeze on the multi. Balloons pushing in for the scatter. Pops Warden's ability. Defensive rage going off. Ice Hound moving across the base. Headhunters take out the enemy RC. That's all about getting through the core. The only downside is using the super minion blimp like he did. He doesn't have any more spells. So the balloons are just going to slowly move. And that rage gem does not give them movement speed. But can they actually get through the monolith here? They're just slowly pushing in. The red air bombs almost take them out. That's it. That's all the defenses. He's got a couple more balloons still in the bag. He still has a freeze in the bag. He's got it. This is crushed. Beautiful hit from Killer Rain. And Team Rencor are looking good. Swags that freeze in the core of the base. Rage Gem Balloons getting it done. GG. And there we have it, the new balloon levels smashing through bases. If you guys want to see some replays with the new king equipment, the giant gauntlet, you can take a look at this video right here.